Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Wasteland 3. We're gonna go ahead and tell Sheriff Daisy that Brago's absolutely dead. Here they are, back from one hell of a shootout at the Little Vegas. Round of applause for the Rangers, Marshals. I'm pleased to hear you shut down that shitty little nightclub. Of course, I'd rather put Brago in the pillories, so everyone could see what happens when you lay hands on a Marshal. But as well, oh, Jesus, I accidentally house. clicked. <laughs> Around here, Oops. We always remember who our friends are. Now, I said I'd owe you a favor if you took care of this for me, and I meant it. Thing is, Delgada owes you too, big time. So I'm sending him over to your base to manage your armory. He'll take good care of you. Thanks again, Rangers. Well, that was simple. My help, I guess we should, no we should probably head over. So, whomst ever. Uh, I decide to make the decisions. They're gonna make a big decision. Either we stay here in town, or we head out into the 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 wild of Colorado and see what the see what the nukes have done. I already get the feeling you guys probably want to head out to Colorado. So, if uh, if nobody new shows up to the stream, I guess I'll just make the decision for myself and then pick between who's here. We got Goober and we got Capra. Now that I have a new PC, I can have Wasteland Three. Says Capra. Well, congratulations. Nothing feels better than having a new PC and then oh shit. <laughs> Who's in charge in here? Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I want to head over to the armory and buy some ammo. In the meantime, I'll let you and uh, you, Capra and Goober. For you, what do we do? Do we talk to this man? Wolf? I could just ignore him. Let me tell you, that guy over there, he's pretty important. So, I'll let you guys figure it out while I buy some ammo over yonder. I am not used to what this armory looks like. Usually for me, for me this place looks like a, a little little casino because I usually have the the bad guys here. Yeah. And didn't we get some compensation every now and then if you needed a witness to? Here we go. Some armor, very cool. Man, I never thought I'd be in a position to thank outsiders for saving my life, but here we are. I don't know what Brigo intended, but, well, I'm guessing you saved me a lot of pain, so, thanks. Anyway, Sheriff Daisy asked me to set up an armory for you, get you situated, so I'll get started on that. Want to see what I've got so far? Hell yeah, let's see what he's got. Uh, and then, maybe I'll, maybe I'll thank him if he's, if he's a good boy. Happy to. Take a look. 10% discount, that's dope. Let me check my inventory real quick. What do we have for handguns? We just... Okay, well, she better not miss a fucking shot. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Poo-poo in my diapers, says Axel. Hello, Axel. Let me tell you, my friend Axel Neko, you've won the grand prize of today, which is you get to make the decisions in the stream. So you, you missed the first decision, but you get to make the second one. Do we stay here in the town of Denver? In Colorado Springs. Or, actually, is this Denver or is this just Colorado Springs? I, I don't fucking know. Do we stay here or do we get into our big fat jalopy over here, the Kodiak, and head out into town and see what see what mutants and monsters and shit we can find? And then also, hello, Phoenix. I saw that you joined too. Don't worry. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Wolf. Let me, let me head over there. Hello, Wolf. Gary Knackle Wolf. Ugh. You're the CO around here? Huh. Okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Uh, what do you, what do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to since, and I formed a posse, decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ, then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again. So we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Mmm. Alright, decision time for the chat. Alright, Axel. Do we assist this man in his quest to per
purge the world of all synthetic life? Uh, or do we leave? Or, there's also always the third option, do I open fire on this man and eradicate him from existence? All right, yes. Okay, we're gonna go talk to the synth then. Um, yeah, we'll go. <laughs> Add it to your list. Ought to be your top priority. All right. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad. All right, let's head into town. After this, we'll head out in our car and deal with the outside. It's a huge decision the second we leave. This is going to be easy peasy. I actually like this synth. So the way that the game helps you find synths is that you get radio static. Uh, so you just need to go to where the static is, is most intense. Uh, luckily for all of us, I know exactly where this guy is. He's actually decently hidden if you've never been to this area. It's just right in here. Faint modem sounds. There we go. So one of these mannequins is a synth and... Excuse me. Someone is whistling. I think I can remember which one it is. Patriot's weapon. Can I loot that? That'd be cool. Oh, it's a replica of the rifle. Yeah, he is this one right here. I want to see about getting in here, though. Requires power. That's stupid. Just bust the door down. This is why you always have a melee character to just bust doors down. It's much easier. Alright, let's loot this stuff. Not having anybody on the team who can do mechanics is just absolutely horrible, but it's fine. Greetings, visitors. My name is Junko Murayama, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. You're about to embark on a journey through Yeah, we're just not gonna listen to that. Let's talk to the talk to the synth. Hello. Animatronic. This animatronic figure is dressed like a marshal. Nothing differentiates it from any of the other figures in the display. And yet, your radio is picking up a weird noise from this spot. Just the sort of digital transmissions that should be coming from a synth, according to Gary Wolf. Let's see. We don't have enough nerd stuff. Uh, you told me to, to talk to the synth, so we're definitely not going to attack him. I'm quietly you're dead. Maybe you're just a dummy like the rest. Let's ask for its name. Is your name October 11th? The figure does not move or speak. Playing dumb won't work, Synth. We're not going away until you talk. Stop! Let me go! It sounds like a child. That's not right. Before you can make a move, the marshal outdraws you, and you're looking down the barrel of a gun. Ah, uh, ooh. Um, put down the gun or you're dead. Easy now, don't be hasty. Why don't we talk? Uh, or, ha! We knew it was you. What are you doing here? Of course you don't, so let's just take it easy. Can we ask you a few questions? I, I guess. What do you want to know? Ah, uh, let's see. Well, you can't stay here forever. What do you intend to do now? That's a good question. All I want to do is get out of here and find some place better to hide. Somewhere far away from this city. Will you let me go? That's a good question. Um... Okay, we'll let you go. Your best bet is to dress up like a refugee and sneak out of the town. Just don't open your mouth. We can't let you go, but we won't kill you either. You're under arrest. Um, protect at all costs, says Neko. Okay. Um, our option, really the only option to make sure he's extra protected is to tell him exactly what to do. If he sneaks out as a refugee, he'll be fine. I'll leave as soon as I find some better clothes. Bye. Oh, what a, what a beautiful, pure little guy. Go to the ranger headquarters and tell Wolf that the synth escaped. I'm pretty sure if we do that, Wolf won't ask us to kill any more synths, because I think he'll determine that we're useless. God, I hope he doesn't tell us to kill more synths. There is a synth later in the game that I might actually kill. 
I, but I'm, I'm debating it. I'll leave it up to you guys when we get there, of course. I'll, you guys get to make all the big decisions around here, but... There's just one of them. He's just... He's simultaneously someone you want to keep alive at the like at all costs, but you also just want him to die. It's really based on greed, because he has an item that's really good. <laughs> but also, he himself is so pure, and you don't want him to suffer. Today, I swear to God, if you mess up this perfect child, I will unsubscribe and never watch you again. Oh my god, I'm glad you guys love him. October 11th is so cute. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Uh, lie. We fought it, but it got away. It got away? It was one synth. Did you even try to kill it? You realize when Cochise wakes up again and wipes out the last of humanity, it'll be your fault. Pack up, squad. Seems like the Colorado Rangers are just as pussy as the ones in AZ. Race traitors. D fuck you, you piece of shit. God, he's so... He's such a dickhead. Alright, fuck this. I'm getting in my goddamn car. Getting the fuck out of here. Alright, Kodiak. Let's get going. Leave Ranger headquarters? Uh, load into the car and head into the world map. Hell yeah. This fucking asshole. <laughs> Gary's such a dickhead. Even when you help him, even when you kill Synths and you tell him you've killed them, he's still rude about it. Let's get out of here. So this is the world map. This is, what, like episode 4 or 5, and finally we're at the world map. This is Arrestus Dorsey, calling the Rangers. You killed my brother Jerry, remember? Then y'all ran off like cowards before I could find you. Well, now you're gonna come find me. Unless you want all of Colorado to hear me kill a bunch of innocent folk, cause you was too chicken to save them. Got a whole family trapped in their homestead. About three generations worth. And if you don't want them to be the next to die in the day you lose your blood, you better come up north and take their place. All right. Erastus, like he said, he's the brother of the guy that we met in the tutorial. Why would we care about a family we never met? Erastus, who? No idea who you are. Sounds like a big deal. That sounds like a lot going on, honestly. Come in November 1. Receiving an urgent distress call in your area. Patching it through. This is Arapaho 44. We're pinned down on 25 south of Colorado Springs. Two escorts killed, and these motherfuckers are circling back. Oh, fuck! Here they come! Oh, fuck! 44. Are you there, 44? The Rangers will get somebody to your location right away. Copy? 44. You copy? Ah, lost contact. You heard them, November. And listen, this isn't just any convoy. A44 is hauling new power armor for the marshals. That sounds important. It is. The Patriarch will expect us to make recovering that power armor our highest priority. Get there fast, and you should be able to save that cargo. Over and out. All right, Axel, decision time. Do we go and help that farm family who's being attacked by a bunch of fucking inbred hillbillies, or do we head down the road and assist the marshals with recovering that power armor? Help the family, says Neko. Okay, cool. Personally, I think that helping the family is the better of the two options. If you choose to help the family... Oh, there's a store here. I think it's actually further this way. If you help the family, you actually get two rewards. And they are relevant to the story somewhat. I, I think that the, helping the family is just the better decision. Sure, helping the helping the marshals makes the patriarch happy, but the patriarch being happy is not something I give a shit about. So, there we are at the Hoon homestead. So this is what you do on the world map. You just drive around and go into places and interact with things. Occasionally you'll be stopped by enemies in the road, or there will be like people you interact with, stuff that you can avoid. It's It's all like random, but pretty fun. Alright, so this is tricky. Their boys are there. Let's, uh... Let's go around up this way. 
think there's a grave over here. I don't think there's any items that we can, like, loot from it, but... He took everything, so I chose nothing. What do you think it means? Alright. Time for another decision, Axel. Do we immediately attack them, or do we try to sneak around the back and communicate with the family before we attack? Communicate with the family and sneak around with your dummy thick clappy cheeks. Okay, that's t <laughs> that's very doable. Let's send Capper around the back. Let's send Capper around. Looky here, we got visitors. Dang it! Must have left that door unlocked. What are you strangers doing in our house? I sure hope you ain't friends with the raiders out front. Nah, we're here to help. That right. Then you're our kind of folks. Those raiders are looking to bust in here. Think you can chase them all? Uh... Yeah. We can do it. Maybe we can get them to back off. Let's see. Stay out of sight. We can take them. We'll talk to them. That way we can be sneaky. You seen what they done to our poor DD? I'm betting they ain't the type to back off. What's all that John? Who you got in there with you? Oh god, everybody's running over. I guess we're fighting from inside here then. Never mind. <laughs> I put everybody in advantageous positions and now it doesn't even matter. What? The Rangers? You tricky sons of bitches. How'd you get in there with our hostages? I just realized this guy's got the fucking Dovahkiin helmet. Let's get him. Easy now, cousins. Before we get to the killing, I'm gonna give these hotlanders the chance to apologize for killing my brother Jared. Go on, Rangers. Tell us how sorry you are. Mmm. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing that. We apologize for killing your brother. Will you let him go? He killed some of ours, so we killed his, his war is war. He killed some of ours. No, I already read that one. Why are you doing the same hillbilly psycho act your brother was? This is supposed to scare us. That cockroach was your brother. What do you know? Hell yeah, we're gonna insult him. Cockroach. His fists clench. You call him my beloved Jarrett a cockroach? Yes. My name is Erastus Dorsey of the Dorsey clan. And we were sent by God to find you, hunt you, and wipe you from the face of the earth. But now you gone and killed my brother. So I'm out in my own wrath to the wrath of God. This ain't just the deluge of blood anymore. It's vengeance. I'm gonna peel off an inch of your skin for every tear I shed over the death of that poor sweet angel boy. And rangers, I shed a thousand. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, your brother mentioned the deluge of blood, too. Before we killed him. You taunt me again with Jared's death. Oh, then the time for talking is over. I love this one guy just, like, banging into nothing. God says it's time for the skinning knife. Ooh, okay. Uh... Our triumph over your kin are a sign from God. Your time is over, Dorseys. The Rangers are the bringers of the deluge. Wait, couldn't the family just left the same way we snuck inside? Yeah, but then their entire farmstead probably would have been ransacked and burned to the ground. And I imagine these people don't have anything outside of that. They'd probably rather throw down their lives than lose their livelihood, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm about to hard-ass the shit out of them. Demoralized. Never desert the Dorseys. Ain't that right, cousins? What the? Are you scared of these fools? Stand your ground, you cowards, or it will be your guts in these hands. Now, fight! <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, roadkill's at the front. Not too bad. Let's see. I need to figure out. Well. Probably would be best. To take you out. Bam! Ooh, he's stunned. That's excellent. Yeah, and then we'll just we'll just hide right here. 
Yeah, we're absolutely gonna murder these boys. I think I'm in cover just because I'm technically next to that little thing. I am absolutely fantastic. Uh, definitely gonna do this. Perfect. And now we just wait. And Marshall Quan, my guy. Uh, Void. Let's do Void first. Rastus Dorsey has a 73%. Fuck him up, Void. Ooh! Nice. That's a big hit. Alright, Roadkill, unfortunately. Oh, nice, actually. I was afraid she wouldn't be able to hit more than one here. This is good. Bam. Do it again. Ooh, one more time. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is good. This is very good. Um... I just realized we can use the fucking car, boys. <laughs> yes. Okay, so when you're in an area where the car is fighting, the car gets to do shit too. Watch this. <laughs> the car is so strong. If you can believe it, the car actually gets, like, the ability to just one-shot, like, groups of people. Like, ten, ten people at a time. It's so good. Alright, Marshall Kwan... Lucia Weston. Let's put let's put Lucia over here. And let's see if she can pop out one of these guys. I don't think she can. That's unfortunate. Eh. That's not bad, but it's not great. Alright, Quan. Let's see about Quan popping him. For some reason, Quan has the ability to hit this guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Alright. Can he do it? Is Quan- Quan's about to just fucking tag this guy through a wall. That's bullshit. Oh, I don't have enough to do it. No, yeah. No, I don't. I'm down by one. Alright, whatever. That's a tank, my dude. That's- You know, you got me there. Let's, um... Yeah, I guess we'll just pop you down. This guy can't attack, technically. Oh shit, they have a pack of blood beasts. Forgot about that. Who's gonna... Jesus. Oh, it's okay. It's just Stinky Goat. He's fine. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? You're not gonna hit shit from up there. I'm in a building. Alright, this isn't too, too, too bad. Nice. Kill him, cat. Kill him! Okay, so this is... Yeah, I guess Capra can just wail on him like this. Oh, they're just sitting there. Nice, and he stunned him. That's excellent. What is best for the car? What can the car do from here? He's technically out of range. Uh, we'll move him up by three. And then... This guy has a bazooka. I need you removed. Yeah, no, you can't... <laughs> you can't exist there, sorry. We'll just leave the car here. Lucia, please just kill someone here. Thank you. You tried your absolute best. You know what? Maybe she can get this guy. It's, I mean, it's a 54% chance. Hey! Uh, She's actually being useful for once. That's good. Okay. Zebra Alpha cannot really hit anyone from her position, unfortunately. Target is blocked. Maybe if she swaps with Quan, she'd do better. Eh, let's just... I need to clear a path here. Oh my god, I can't do anything because the cat's in the way. Oh no, it's a roadkill that's in the way. Alright, um... You know what I could do? I could, I could do this... And then... Oh, come on. I just barely... I wanted to hit all of them. Hold on. Can I hit all of them? I just can't hit... Oh, come on! Fuck! Alright. I guess that's fine, right? We'll just have to hope she doesn't instantly die. Yeah, if I'm standing here, I have a chance to hit them, but... Lucia could move? She literally cannot. Okay. Alright, you get in this corner, I guess. It's the best I'm gonna get out of you. Just don't die, please. Alright, Void. What can I make you do? I think my best bet is to get you into this cover. And then... Yeah, just open fire on this guy and hope you don't miss. 
Hey, I mean, you hit him once and you crit him for a butt ton, so I can't really complain. And then Sniper will just pop you here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to send Capra up there. That's the best I can do. Oh, please don't miss. Oh, nice. Jesus. Why is Lucia's accuracy so low? She's using a shotgun, right? No, Lucia's got a Magnum pistol. She's got some sort of revolver. Oh, Jesus, why'd they run all the way over here? Yeah, hit my car, please. Oh my god, the cat has no way to get out, so it has to go around. I was gonna laugh if that fucking cat just ran into that mine. Oh, you know what? This ain't, this ain't bad. But bam Double stun, that's fantastic. Alright, pop him again. Okay. Uh, I think... My only... Option here is to just open fire. Oh, I'm just barely out of range. That blows. Path blocked. That sucks. Um, here's what I'll do. Just have you do that. Roadkill can pop around the back. And then... Pop you directly. Reload. Hopefully I can find someone who can kill them. Alright, Lucia. I'm not gonna waste her... I'm not gonna waste her thing. Void can take this out. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, he's so good. Alright, Quan. Don't know why he's struggling to hit something directly in front of his face, but... Moron, so it's fine. Alright, sniper. Ooh, you're nice. Usually she misses. And then Void will just sit. One question Do you have to use companions or can you just use custom teammates? The game allows you to make up to four custom companions, but you are required to have two um, story related ones. That's the only reason that I don't have other characters who are. Uh, from my chat. Otherwise, I, I would have made a full team of six. I've looked for a mod that could change it, but there just isn't one, uh, which is really unfortunate. I wish there was. Can the I cannot get the car in a position to attack that, which makes me so sad. Maybe Roadkill can, can get up there. Yeah, it's not bad. From here, she can do something. Can I put you in a better position to hit her? I cannot. Let's just hope. Hey, that's actually really good. Oh, come on. Hmm, let's see, I can't really do much here. Which is unfortunate. Uh, Quan is usually pretty good at hitting things. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll put him here. I've looked for a mod that can fix it. There doesn't seem to be one, which really, really blows. I wish that you could just have all custom companions in this game. It would make the game so much better. Oh, we won that fight, which is good, and you guys got to see me use the car, which is always fun. Uh, he is bleeding a little bit, but that's okay. Thanks for the help, strangers. We ain't seen a scrap like that in, what, ten years? Well, I reckon the words on the lips. My name's Amy Hewitt. Seems my husband Amos. You strangers saved our whole family from those bushwhackers. Uh, let's see. Just friends. Glad we could help. Tell you what, we ain't got much money, but we got more bullets stashed than we'll ever need. Back when we were young, we were always safe for the next shipment. The old couple shift through furniture and pull up loose floorboards, assembling an impressive array of military supplies. Avi puts them in a flower-patterned bag and hands them to you. That ain't near enough for saving our lives, but... Maybe it'll help keep you safe. Uh, thanks. We'll be on our way. If you're ever up this way again, stop in and say hello. You're always welcome around here. All right. <laughs> All right. Now this is a this is a bit of a of a interesting choice. Ooh, a toaster. Absolutely, fix that toaster, please. 
Hell yeah. Okay, you'll notice that from this toaster, we looted a molded golden toaster case. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and spoil something for you, so if you don't want to know what happens with toaster repair, just cover your ears for like the next 10 seconds. All right, here I go. If you assemble all the pieces of the golden toaster, you can take it to the golden toaster, or you can take it to the toaster repairman college, and then re assemble them into a golden toaster that fights for you as a companion. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's what can happen later. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Neko another choice. Um, so Neko, you know how we just saved this nice family? Ooh, let me see if I can turn this off. Maybe I can talk to someone to make this thing stop. Stop talking, please. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Time for us to go. I'm gonna give Neko a choice. Neko, you know this. You know this nice family we just rescued. I'm gonna give you the option to eradicate them. So up on this mantle here is a custom machine gun that their beautiful son, who used to be a marshal, put together by hand. It's fully custom. He died, unfortunately, in the service of duty as a police officer, and they hang this gun above their mantle as a, as a remembrance of him. Now, I'm going to give you the option to take the gun from the mantle, in which case they will willingly attack you and we will have to murder this entire family. Otherwise, we can let them go, and I'll just, I'll just go somewhere else. So the choice is yours. What would you like to do, my friend? No, says Neko. We will not kill them. Okay, good. I... <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I like to be honest when you once you've made the decisions, but straight up, uh, the the weapon the weapon's not good. It's it's pretty bad. Uh, let's tell the cat to go home. Uh, meow. The cat slinks around your ankles. Uh, let's send you home. The cat turns away, haughty as ever. Uh, here's the real reward for coming here. Fucking Billy Jean, Billy and Jean. You only need one level in Animal Companion to get this goat companion. And straight up, the goats are some of the best companions in the game. I'm not even joking. Peering into the greenhouse, you can see rows of beets and cabbage along with some fat potted mushrooms. So here's another part about coming here, another just like bonus reward. They have like this weird military bunker behind their house that they just like did not even know was here. And it has some- oh, it has some decent loot here. Disable that. There's some robo boys here. We'll deal with them. Servitude bot. I love the way that the robots talk in this game. They're so silly. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have the repair for that, but I do have a very angry clown. And I think he'll do just fine on that door. I'm sure once this door is broken, the robots are going to be fucking pissed, but it's fine, it's fine. How many parts are there? I do not know offhand, Phoenix. Uh, there's maybe five or six of them? I do not remember. Some stuff to lockpick here. Let's go this way. I'm speedrunning the massacres. A computer, or we can just lockpick this door open, because I know we don't have great computer stuff. This corpse has been here for a long time. It's wearing the remains of a Don't Tread On Me t-shirt. Oh my god. I'm such a sucker for those, um, those memes where it's the Don't Tread On Me, but, but it'll just say something like, Please Tread On Me, Daddy. That shit gets me every time. Wow, the robots didn't attack us. That's genuinely kind of surprising. Robots in this game are usually really bad. They're just angry about everything. Alright, let's get back to the Kodiak and get out of here. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the game. I really, really love this game, and I, I feel like more people need to know about it. So I'm glad that you guys are having a good time. <laughs> hey, hey, Rangers! You tell your daddy, the Patriarch, that we robbed his convoy and got his Marshal's power armor. Looks good on us, too. See you soon, Rangers. We got Colorado Springs in our sights. Oh, and we were very respectful of the caravan guard. You fucks were too lazy to come rescue. We built a shrine in their honor. 
Yeah, we're definitely not going to head over there, just because there's enemies that I don't want to deal with. So, there are a couple of places we can go. We can try to go for Aspen, Denver, the Bazaar. Uh, I will leave it up to, uh, to Neko. You're still in charge. I like whoever I pick to be in charge for the whole stream. So which, which way would you like us to go? I will tell you, only one of these is correct, but I will try my darndest to get to either one of these for you. Where would you like us to go? Head down to the bazaar, you say. Perfect. Of the three options, the bazaar is really the only one that's feasible. I do not want to hear the radio right now because I'm talking. So the thing is, is that when you're driving around, there are radiation storms and enemies that can stop you from progressing. It is possible for us to get to Denver, I think. Aspen is completely out of the question as far as I'm concerned. But the bazaar is the easiest and most feasible place to go. It's also probably the easiest. Uh, they, it was actually super hard. The bazaar was an extremely punishing area. Uh, unless you had a full team of snipers, it was basically super hard. Flab. And it is my pleasure to bid you welcome to the bazaar. Come in, for the night air is chill. Your home is here, and our good plentiful. Bring us your wealthy, your rich, your poor person. And if you can't afford it, just stay away. This has been a Monster Army product. <laughs> yeah, but as you saw, getting down here was just as easy as driving over. A pre-war mall, and once the headquarters of the set- DJ- DJ Rip, please. It's a mall that was turned into a bazaar before I was rudely interrupted by DJ Rip. Alright. I assure you. Your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Amanda, but not me. I know if something. civilization collapses, I'm all of Colorado Springs will look like this. The Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners, Chapter 1, on the proper use of etiquette. It is a common misconception that etiquette exists as a means of affirming one's social status at the expense of the uninitiated. That is, it serves as a barrier to keep the uncivilized apart from their betters. Of course, nothing can be further from the truth. Etiquette and proper manners are the glue that binds civilized society together. And it is the duty of civilized persons to educate the less fortunate for the betterment of all. Proper etiquette, gentlemen, is the balm that soothes the savage beast. That's a suicide bomb robot, and I have no interest in fighting that. Oh no, we're in combat. Oh shit. Alright, let's just end the turn. It can't get over to us. Oh no. It- Holy shit. <laughs> that could have been so terrible. This thing, had it exploded, would have killed our entire team. But because it needed one extra turn to blow itself up, because we were just barely out of range and wasn't able to do it. I'm... Holy shit. I didn't think I'd aggro something that far away just by killing that first one. See what I mean? The bazaar is challenging. If I didn't know that those bomb robots were there, I could have walked into them like a complete idiot. I mean, granted, I did just walk into them like a complete idiot, but... You know. <laughs> Alright, we're coming to the end of the stream. Uh, I do not have enough time to get into the bazaar. So to get into the bazaar, we need to have a merchant vouch for us, or we need to work our way around the back. Both of those take time, and I will say going around the back is the more fun of the option, so I'm going to do that one next stream. I'm not giving you guys the choice on that one. But, with the last couple minutes we have before I end the stream, I would like to introduce you guys, not to a full companion, but to an animal companion. You'll, you'll notice there's a bird over here named Polly. So we'll go over here and we'll talk to this NPC, and that'll be the end of the stream. And, uh, you know what? Just, is Void here? Don't think so. That's okay. We'll leave it, we'll leave it up to, to Axel. Hi, strangers. Name Six Finger Larry. Hunter. Though, it seems you find me plumb out of wares. The parrot beside him squawks obnoxiously. He studiously ignores the bird. 
Uh, that's an interesting looking parrot. Is it for sale? Him? <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself, because I got no say in what he's going to do. All right. Uh, we want to buy Polly. Can we talk to him? All right. It's your funeral. Hey, Polly, you hear that, old buddy? These fine folks would like to adopt you. How's that sound? Larry, my buddy, my pal. <laughs> Come closer. I'll show you how it sounds to me. As Larry leans in, Polly bites down hard on his nose. Oh, shit. Damn it. That's how it fucking sounds to me, Larry. Sounds like some fucking bullshit. <laughs> Wasting your time with this asshole. Talk to Polly. Talk to Polly. Uh. So, Polly, how are you doing? Would you like me to adopt this absolutely cute and cuddly little bird? Axel, or would you like me to leave? I do not think there's the choice to kill it, but if there is, let's just say there is. You can pick that too if you want. I get the feeling you're going to want to adopt. I mean, he's just so he's just so nice. How could you not? Polly is really nice. So yes, says Neko. Okay. Wouldn't you be happier traveling around Colorado and making everyone miserable? yours if you pay the price. Well, this sounds about fair, don't you think? Two hundred dollars? That's so much money! <sighs> Fine, here you go. Yeah, something's not right with you. But you have my respect. Enjoy the parrot, and let me know if you need anything else. Yes! Finally! Free at last! Ha ha ha! Larry! Larry! Yes! Shit! Like! At last I can tell you with complete sincerity! Fuck you! What a beautiful little guy. Uh, I guess he's just coming along. Oh, nice. This is one of those situations where if you get an animal companion through dialogue, you can actually have two at the same time. Despite only having one animal trainer with us, which is absolutely fantastic. This is good because Polly and Billie Jean together is such a strong combo. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed Polly. Uh, next stream we'll go into the bazaar, which I don't know if you guys are paying attention to the radio, but uh, but Flab the, uh, the vampire is here, and he's pretty sexy, so we'll be able to meet him next stream. Uh, thank you, Neko, for making all those choices. Excellent choices as always, guys. I'll see you on the next stream. Have a great rest of your night.